Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. This week I'm very excited because I want to show you what FBTS pipe and flow means, right? But first of all, what is FBTS? FBTS is a functional programming or a library for TypeScript. So let's see and take a look at FBTS. So if you go to GitHub, you will find FPTS, right? And then you will see that FPTS is a library for typed functional programming in TypeScript. And there are two main advantages. It has an advantage of better type safety. So it allows you to make assertions about your data structure without the need of time guards of our keywords, right? And also uh, the second reason is the expressiveness and the readability. It makes your code much more readable, right? And for that reason, it's for me a very good reason to just dive into it, see what the, the, the power is of using these, these, uh, this, this library. And maybe, yeah, you will also start using it into your own uh, TypeScript project. So, all right, let's dive into flow and pipe. So the library FPTS is also um, yeah, an ES module, right? So you can very easily import it from CDN skypack.dev. And if you follow my channel, you already know that that's my preferred way to do so. Uh, there you have in FPTS a library function where you have a lot of functions, right? So if we, for example, just do a console log fn you will see what what kind of functions there are available so these are the functions that are available for us and of course i just want to show you pipe so for this i'm just going to do that which is a pipe right if i run this you will see that you will get the function pipe so keep in mind if you are using node and you are doing uh, or and you are using it for example into react angular or view you can very easily do import pipe from fpts slash lib slash function that's just the same thing that you can do right but for now i'm just going to do it uh, like this uh, to show you how it works and what the benefits are Actually, pipe is very easy. It just pipes a function after a function after a function after a function. And you can put the arguments first, then a function, then another function, and then you get a result, right? So imagine that we have something like this. We have a function add one. It just adds one. And then you have a function multiply two, right? You always need to know that you have uh, one thing that goes through the pipe in our case it's a number that's what goes through the pipe right and then of course we can just program a result equals pipe result of three add one multiply And then, of course, you have here, what is our, our number, right? And then we have our function, which also returns a number. And then that's what has been returned at math one will be um, provided in multiply two and so on. So if we then do console.log result, so yeah, we have our result. And of course, our result is 8, because 3 at 1 is 4, multiply 2 is 8, right? So I hope you understand what's going on here. Um, let me see if I can do something else, right? So imagine we have something like this, a function to lower, and we have here as string and then here we say return what's the difference to 
lowercase, right? So we'll remove this one as well. And then we can have something like function uh, suffix. Thanks, suffix, thanks, thanks, string, of course, and then return suffix, s, and just to show you what it can do, right? So const results equals, and then of course we have again type. Awesome, but I want to have something like R, some, and then we need to lower the suffix append, and then I do console dot log events right. Of course, you can add as many things that you like right because i'm just gonna i'm just gonna execute it for now and then you see uh, uh suffix awesome but if i again do this right here you will see that we have the following results we have suffix awesome uh, suffix suffix awesome right <laughs> so suffix suffix awesome so you can really add a lot of these type functions um, uh, another cool thing that you could do for example would be uh, const uh, suffix equals maybe you could do something like uh, suffix and this one would be it would be something like this right and that that would be would be great because then of course you could do something like this kind of uh, function suffix and then you can very easily uh, do something like suffix hello and then here i want to have another suffix for example type with me right and this is really, really uh, powerful. Um, of course, you need to have a, a typing. I save this, and then you will see that I have the following results. Type with me, hello, awesome. And that's what we want, right? We want to have very easily uh, pipeable, addable um, uh, functions next to each other to, to, to really help us go through a certain flow so if we go back to the previous uh, function what we also could do is add something like to string right so we want to have our result to uh, to string for example and then this one is indeed a number but that number will be a string right so that's something that's also possible and it's nice to know that it's possible right so we will do so um, of course, I need to make string interpolation. So num, right? That's great. And then here I can very easily do something like to. So and then our result will be a string. If we just execute it, yeah, well, it just prints out eight, but of course it's a string, uh, right? So next thing that we can use here is flow. So I'm gonna flow. And with flow, we can very easily do the following thing. We can do the flow here, and it just defines, uh, flow it just defines multiple functions that you have in here, right? Um, and, and, uh, and, and that's it. So if I just run, you'll see that I still get eight, but that's normal because we don't save our 
or application line with yeah it doesn't matter because of course it's the same kind of thing um if you do here if i copy this right you can also easily um, write it differently so you can very easily do something like this flow and then of course you can add here an input and that's just the big difference between pipe and flow if you really want to create a function right, this is a flow and flow just adds all these functions together in a nice flow right and you get a function back and that function of course needs to have an input right and that input in our case is three well then you can write it as, as such and some people are more in favor of doing so so well then you can very easily do so and then of course this is just the same result but that's something that you just need to know that we have pipe flow and what the differences are in pipe you really have first something that you start with and then you have multiple functions that you can yeah, pipe into right and with flow you just have a bunch of uh, functions in here which defines your flow and of course this returns a big function where you have your input in right which is three in our, in our case. So this is the first introduction around uh, functional programming TypeScript or FPTS, right? It, uh, the, the, the great library. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, for, for me, it's a, it's a very nice library to play with. In the, in the future, we will make uh, more videos around uh, FPTS because for me it's nice to really dive into it and play a little bit around with it to see what it's capable of. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like this uh, video if you, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something from it. And if you aren't being... Um, if you want to see more videos, well, you can just um, subscribe to my channel. Right. So thank you very much and see you next time.